everybody welcome back to my channel um i haven't been on for a while i've actually been really sick with a viral infection i did film my scraptastic kick club kids and i'll post them um they'll be before this video but i just wanted to share before i handed this in this is for my in-store class um album that i designed and i used the bow bunny bow bunny juliet collection and i absolutely love this collection it is absolutely stunning so i, I used the die cuts the sticker sheets um what else did i use six by six paper pad and the 12 by 12 sheets and journaling cards in there and then i just added some flowers which were from um the the green tara collection okay so i kept it pretty basic i cut out the memories with my cameo okay and there was some flower die cuts in there so i just popped them up on some pop dots as well Okay, so inside the cover, I kept it pretty plain. That's the tuck spot in there. Then what I did do for this bit here is, sorry, I'm just, there's a little tag here, which you can use as a bookmark, and that slips under there. Um, you guys would have seen this in one of my Christmas albums that I did do, okay? Um, another, um, another journaling spot or a photo spot. Um, I used a, oh, what is it? It's a bag die. Um, it was the steel rule die that I had. I can't remember the name of it, but, um, yeah, really cute. Then you've got another tuck spot here and also along here. Okay. Then that flips open. And you've got more room for photos here and more room for photos here. So what I did want to do is make this a memory album so that you do have a lot of, you know, photos um, uh, to put in here. Okay, so you open it up and um, this was from a 12 by 12 sheet. Cut that out. Then you open this up and um, if I can get in camera view, there it is. I... Um, did acetate and you can put photos inside there as well um i did this i used this one i used i did do in my graphic 45 old curiosity album and i really liked it so much and i thought oh this would be great in this album as well so i've put pockets on there i used my tim holtz bracket die and then it kind of opens up swivels and opens up and you can do journaling there and then put photos in here so i was really happy with the way that came out okay this bit here it's just plain because i needed something in there that wasn't there wasn't too many flips or whatever so i did do just some plain pockets and this was a cut out from one of the 12 by 12 sheets and you know a, a decent sized photo mat here as well the other side is the same um, these are some of the journaling cards that were in the collection and i absolutely adore these okay really you know vintage looking really really pretty okay um that was the cutout from a 12 by 12 sheet as well here i created two photo uh, screens if you will and they pull out and you can stick a photo in there and then just um put it down once again going back to my old curiosity shop where i designed it and i had the little uh photo pocket where you flipped it open and it had the acetate there okay so i've got to remember which way these go as well myself <laughs> okay so I, I created another pocket here and that flips open as well so like i said lots and lots of room in there and there's another little pocket in there let's see if i can find a little tag that might fit in there okay let's try this one okay so there's another little pocket in there as well all right and you open this up and we've got a um a pocket here 
then another pocket here where you open it up then this opens up another pocket and then that flips open as well and I use my basic grey magnets as I always do with my projects um, I swear by them okay a sticker part of a sticker sheet here and I've created two pockets here and that's another one there so these cards just go in there so you do get a lot of room out of these I'll just pop these back in here okay Let that go in this way then that flips open all right I've got a pocket here for a photo and or journaling and you can do the same here and then on this side this opens up so you can have a photo in there you don't need to stick that sticker sheet down and then do the journaling on the side and have a title up the top okay so that closes opens up and then you've got a tuck spot in here as well okay so that folds over and that goes back in this way um this one here i've created for your um, three by four cards or you can put a you know another photo mat in there as well so that will flip open and that flips open as well all right and then we've got oh get it out another photo place in there as well so like i said lots and lots of room for your photos in here you've got a little tuck spot if you wanted to put you know a photo mat in there and remove it or you can just add your photos on there um, this opens up another place here for your tuck spot and a pocket at the side okay then we've got two flips here another place here for your pocket big place here for your photos okay then that opens up again now we've got another tuck spot in here and then another place for your photos in here okay Ooh. it's hard getting it in from this angle so i'll just take it out all right and at the back of this i kept it quite plain i use the um the um oh what are they with the journaling cards you got these as well different um pages so i just turned them into a little flip book at the end so that you have got a lot more room and i did keep everything quite plain because i want the the girls to customize it to um you know their own uh photos and and you know personal memories and stuff like that um i didn't want to over embellish with things um like i said i did use from the sticker sheets and and what have you so but i really enjoyed making this album the collection is absolutely stunning to work with and the album turned out beautiful i really really like it so i hope you enjoy that sorry it was a quick flip through but i really needed to get it get it done and um stay tuned for more videos and um I hope you guys are having a great week and um, take care of one another and be kind to one another. Okay, bye.